my output for architectural design class four. And in this brief, our professor gave us an option to pick any plant that we can use for the architecture as the main DNA to express with it. And another limitation is the site location, only within our proximity because of the pandemic uh, that's going on. The project name of this is called The Chaffle. So before I start giving the details of my, my proposal, I want to give some context behind the church architecture or cathedral chapel architecture. Here in the Philippines, many of us are Catholics predominantly. And here is a photo of, to the left is the Manila Cathedral and to the right is the San Sebastian Church. As you can see, the interiority is expressed by the verticality and the height of the ceiling, where it allows this grandiose kind of atmosphere as you listen towards the sermons of the priest. The problem is that there's a huge disconnect between nature and the structure. With the growing up as Catholic, God is the center with the idea of nature. Having this reconnection through design and architecture would be an interesting creative typology to explore on. Furthermore, as shown in the case studies such as the San Sebastian Church, is that the materiality is not local and it's using steel as a way to build the architecture and even in other construction methods is concrete, which is not traditional. So going back, I want to reintegrate what is easily available and even ephemeral materials towards the architecture I've created. Here is a quick collage sketch as a culmination of the ideas of church architecture and plants. Being able to marry the verticality to expand spaces that makes a church will help create this new building typology. Knowing that with plants at the heart and center, we need to know what's its parameters. One, obviously, is the sun, water, pollinators to help spread the seeds naturally, or even with a caretaker, which is usually farmers or gardeners, especially for agricultural-based plants or even gardening. Given that, this is the location, just to give you more context, is the location of my site. As you can see, this is the accessibility points towards the major roads. I'm located towards the Calabarzon boundary close to the Montenupa boundary, showing the residential, institutional, and commercial spots. In here, you could see the Zoomlin micro site at the southwest corner with the clubhouse complex in the center. It's located in an open field. The location is accessible by all the residences. And in here, it's skewed in a way that it is good for well, the orientation in itself and the location with plants in the surrounding area and wind. Of course, the Amihan and Habagat. The referencing back the ideas of arches and columns, what I imagined at first is what if I spill water over these columns? Where would the water go? Like how does gravity follow through these complex forms of classical architecture? I settled down with one of the structures. And in here is the trellising plants that I picked. These are all four of them, the sitao, ampalaya, patola, and tomato. They're all local and fast growing, produced annually, abundantly. Everyone consumes these things, especially here in the Philippines. Given these set of parameters like sunlight, water consumption, and all of them, almost most of them is high water consumption with 25 liters needed in order to grow these plants. All of them use trellises. It focuses on the verticality rather than the horizontal plane to maximize the yield of these plants, potentially using it as a foliage for the pollinators. There's quite a lot of birds in the area. This helps with the seed dispersal, not only limiting itself towards the church, but also in the surrounding area, even a little bit beyond the community in itself. It could be connected to nature, um, taking advantage as these natural pollinators. And as you can see, a little bit of an in-depth research, each of these species, uh, when I was site visiting, they have these different bird songs. Having this uh, reference from the Cornell Lab of 
ornithology recorded these different species. According to a study, when you're surrounded by nature, especially even birds and, and, and plants, it reduces anxiety. It allows yourself to calm down in any disposition, especially when you're in a meditative state. It is one of the most natural ways to bring yourself back into the present moment. These are the main iterations. There were several. As you can see, there is like a general form that I've been developing as the water catchment from the, at the top of the architecture that cascades down towards to the water reservoir. As I mentioned, um, one of the classical arches that I've iterated on the most is the barrel vault to create this funnel to allow water access to go within there. Here is my form for it, finding process with my third iteration, which I also applied it for my final design with the, the sloping orientation towards the southwest where the habagat is to have maximum rain catchment. And this is the axonometric model that is uh, digitally made. Here's the placement when it's rendered as the shadow study. You can see the, the higher end profile allows more uh, shadow and northern side. This is the site and exploded axonometric, wherein some details are shown how the structure is made with the complexity of the curves and, and trellises. I want you to come with me and walk through these floor plans of putting yourself as a church goer. Whether you're able or disabled, you could go access this church. Inside, you're greeted with this beautiful arches where the water collects. It, it creates this grandiose space, makes this feel expansive because of the huge span in the center. Besides, the there are trellising plants. And while you're in the church, you're listening to the priest, you're seated on the pews. Underneath it has growing beds of the mongo. Part of the interiority is to seamlessly integrate these plants into the architecture. These are local food is readily consumed in five to seven days. And here's the second floor plan. It's very repetitive for the next plants. But as you can see, the accessibility for Every floor is allowable for anyone. You could sit some sort of benches. You could watch from above as you listen to the priest. Here's the next, another interior render as there is different change in seasons. As you can see, when you put yourself into the sea, the trellising facade of the plants, how it grows and crawls. Head space actually is not as high as the standard 2.4 ceiling. It will be hard to the, the harvest. And given the parameters, uh, as I, I researched, it's about 1.8. Using that as a way to dictate my architecture as well as the plant boxes required for the parameters of the different plants, it creates this very intimate space within you connecting towards nature as the church is going on with its activities and this is the roof. And here is the construction methods that will be used in this chapel, which is bamboo and clay, uh, earthen clay structures to use what is natural and easily replenishable. Here is the arches, the details within it. It uses bamboo and bracings in order to to reinforce it within um, limestone finished clay facade of the of the funnel. Going back again towards the interiority, uh, the cutting through the middle, you could see the details of how the arches and the, the pews come together within the space. Zooming into the detail, if you look at the ground floor plan closely, there are these small perforations within the floor plate, close, quite close to the floor plate of the of the arches. It allows ventilation to go out, out uh, from the basement towards the ground floor. With this basement plan, you could either access through the ramp or stairs and go down towards the, the basement where the sacristy, adoration chapel, and toilets are, as well as the private quarters of the presiding priest. 
storage, which is quite an open space for the chapel because the fruits can be stacked upon boxes. The advantages of placing it inside the basement is because of its naturally cool area with the location of the, the water storage at almost every end of the space, making this place a very good location to store fresh goods. As I mentioned, these are the, the water reservoir, hugs almost the entirety of the structure. You could see referencing to Filipino architecture is the Claire st Story windows located at the bottom. There is more ventilation that allows to be penetrated at the basement. And if you could see in the elevation, there are these bristly steps that allows it to be cooled as well of sunlight to penetrate, but mostly just for ventilation to allow the space to be cold and good for storage for the, the fresh produce. Here, you can see how the architecture is highly centered towards nature, how nature is dictated by growth and seasons that changes the facade every time we visit in a different season, a different time. On the accessibility, it's important to welcome everyone and anyone to the church, regardless you're able, disabled, or different beliefs. It becomes a processional space going through the ground as a meditative state. Here's the different elevations. You can see the better building profile of uh, the accessibility of ramps and bases, another elevation as well as different profile. It seemingly has a square profile, but as you know it, it's curved. You could tell which is the grand entrance and towards the, the back, it, it gives you this visual cue um, where to enter. Here is the section cuts, contextualizing the site with the neighboring surroundings. This is the night render. It gives a lot of emphasis with its interiority as well. Something to make yourself want to look what's inside. It's kind of like a theatricality of sorts. Thank you for listening um, with my presentation.